Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maisie Brixler. So today I've been thinking about what kind of video I wanted to film. I've been looking through my old videos and all of them have been travel videos, travel vlogs and makeup tutorials in which it's usually just my friends or about the place we're at or what we get up to or with the makeup videos me just showing you how to do makeup. But I don't feel like you guys like really get to know like me, like I'm not really in them as much. So today I wanted to do a Q&A just so you can kind of get to know me a little bit better. So I've got a special guest and he's going to be asking me some questions. I have no idea what he's going to ask me, which makes me a little bit nervous, but also a bit excited at the same time. Um, I told him to ask me like juicy questions. You guys are definitely going to get to know the tea. Before I start, I just want to say that I don't watch the background. This isn't my final background. I'm still trying to work out the best location and lighting for my videos, hence why I've been doing up all over the house. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because that's what I do best. And let's get on with the video. I'm here with my boyfriend, say hi. G'day. He's from Australia and he's gonna be the one asking me the questions. What is your full birth name? <laughs> Maisie Rosa Aiden Britzelara. The first name is Scottish, second name is Italian, third name is Irish, and last name is Italian again. And where are you from? I'm from East London, Hackney side. Represent. <laughs> what ethnicity are you? I thought that I was just Irish and Italian because my mum's side is Italian, my dad's side is Irish. My mum wanted me to do a DNA test and it turns out that I'm way more than that. I'm part Greek, I'm part French. And I'm like 1% Melanesian, 1%, what's the other one, like Arab or something, which is just really weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically European, but I'm way more than I thought I was, which is kind of cool. What was your favourite subjects in school? Philosophy for sure, I said it as a degree, so definitely philosophy. I liked science to be fair, like biology probably as well. My favourites, hence why I did them at A-level. Right. What are your pet peeves? I hate, this is what I hate. I hate when people are not on stuff. So they'll say that they're on something, like going on holiday or an event or they're on doing something. Then when it comes down to doing it, no one's doing it. Yeah. I feel like for me, like I always say yes to everything. Um, and when I say yes, I, you know, I stick to my word. So when people like, are just flaky people, oh, that pisses me off. Yeah. Um, I hate when I'm trying to get somewhere and the bus or any transport is taking so long and I'm going to be late and people are in my way, take, tourists taking pictures when I just want to get from A to B. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on Valentine's when you're single? Valentine's Ooh. Day. Ooh, I remember at uni, my friend Tara had a Galentine. So yeah, I don't know, just like, I would just do nothing and eat ice cream and just feel sorry for myself. Or it's nice when my friends arrange like a galentine, so like just get together with your girls, go out. And yeah, just yeah, cool. talk to the ones. <laughs> <laughs> what are your red flags in a relationship? Someone who gets really angry when they're drunk. So it has like anger problems, anger issues. Someone who's cheated in all of their past relationships. Someone who's just not, who doesn't listen to you, who doesn't ask you questions. Sometimes that you can fancy someone and they can fancy you, but when you actually chill with them, like they barely ask you anything, they just talk about themselves. Still in contact with their ex, haven't, recent ex, they've not, you, they might not be over them yet. Talk about them all the time, so you think they might not be over, over them, so yeah. Yeah, cool. What is a memory that always makes you smile? Aww, that's <laughs> cute. When I met you. <laughs> no, um, yes, but no. In Asia, I'm being on the mopeds and just going through the beautiful mountains. That was an, an amazing time. Yeah. Very nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> what has been your favourite country to travel to? I went to one island in Greece. I've not done like the main ones, but I went to one island in Greece, which I thought was beautiful. I think it was Halkidiki. It was a long time ago, but I remember it being beautiful. So... I guess I have to pick one, don't I? Yeah, one country. Ooh, that's real hard. Mm -hmm. Can I pick a few? Well, I'll just pick one. Yeah, you can pick one of the few. Uh, I'm going to pick one, for, say, for fun. I'm going to say Berlin was probably the littest time. So Germany. 
Jenny. <laughs> I ask country. Shut up, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, and then for like aesthetics, either Carib Ooh, either the Caribbean or Greece. So what country did you go to in the Caribbean? I went to Trinidad and Tobago twice. Okay. Where would you like to travel to next? Yeah, South America South and Central America. You didn't say country, you said where. Mm-hmm. So South and Central America, yeah, that's on my top of my bucket list, to be honest. Have you ever tried dating apps? No, not really. Well, n not really. <laughs> I did use it as a means to end up speaking to two people that I knew at uni, <laughs> if that counts. I technically used it, but it wasn't to like meet randos. That's but other than your that, experience, no. yeah. Other than that, no. So I already like knew of them, mm, already, mm. kind of thing. So yes, I know. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best rave or festival you've ever experienced? Mm. Rave? Probably Marco Crowley Pasha. Ironically, because I was so tired, so sober and probably been out five nights before that so like everything would point to me having a miserable time i didn't even want to go i was like i can't believe we're doing day and now we're doing night like i'm so annoyed that we're doing this but it ended up being amazing mm. um the music was unreal my heart was like my organs were shaking literally mm. shaking because of how good the sound system was best one oh sonar probably in barcelona or secret garden party when it was still going very cool. Very cool. <laughs> do you regret anything in the past? On a juicy note, I feel like I regret how certain situations pan out with people that you care about. So if you like accidentally hurt someone when you didn't mean to hurt someone, and then yeah, you always live with that. Not always, but you'll live with that like guilt. Mm. Of. Yeah hurting someone you cared about, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess that. On a less juicy note, I regret not learning either French or Italian a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is your funniest night out experience? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to... I don't know if this is... I can put this on YouTube. <laughs> what I would say. What positive effects has quarantine had on you? It has made me appreciate the world more. It has made me appreciate my friends more. It has made me appreciate the fact that we had the ability to just go overseas whenever we wanted to. It made me appreciate the outdoors. I feel like the only way that I've been able to really like go outside is to just go for a walk or like experience outdoors and I didn't even realise how paying England can be you know mm. I, I remember being in Canada and thinking oh I don't want to quarantine there but then I'll go on like walks around like the canal and stuff and I'm like England's or like the marsh England's pretty nice what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about the youth I'm passionate about being an activist for Black Lives Matter um, and helping people in underprivileged areas. I'm always going to be helping with stuff like that, giving to charities. And I'm pa yeah, passionate about like youth groups and like how can we solve the problem of, you know, teenage pregnancy or helping people, underprivileged people that like, go to university if you're like the first generation to have ever gone to university in your family. Kind of just get out of the cycle of, of like what the hood and underprivileged areas kind of like drags you into, you know, becoming mm -hmm. something, you know, better than maybe your family have. What is a random fact about you? That I'm related to Frank Sinatra. Ooh. Um, I don't know specifically the relation, but I believe it's my aunt married his brother or some something or cousin or it's, it's very fucking distant, like mm. a good like few generations away. What did you believe as a child that's actually not true? Well, the two fairy or sons or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Or did you think more something deeper? Nah, you can answer that in any way you want. Okay, I thought that... I've got a few things. I thought that older people had it all figured out. Mm -hmm. And that it's, you know, at the age of 30. You, that it's not like that at that point. Everybody has a car, everybody has a house, everybody has a wife, everybody has mm. a kid, you know. I thought that the government 
are way less corrupt than they actually are. Mm. I thought that people actually are trained and know how to run a country, but mm -hmm. really, no one has any fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Beer, wine, or spirits? Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> I w if you talked to me last year, sorry, I just spat. If you talked to me last year, I would say beer, mm -hmm. but I think I'm going to say wine now. How much you up? I wanted a glass of wine actually for this video, <laughs> but we don't fucking have one. I'm annoyed, but whatever. Yeah, I say wine now, okay, red wine. Cool. Um, what are your strengths? My strengths are, I'm very good at keeping in touch with people, I found. Um, a lot of people go through life and people just filter off and they kind of just let it happen. But with me, I feel like every phase or chapter of my life, I've met people and I've always stayed in contact with them. And that could just be me who is making most of the effort. That's fine. Um, but like, yeah, I haven't really lost contact with a lot of people because even if I do see them once or twice a year and we go for a meal or go for a drink or catch up or whatever, I do. I'm very good at keeping in touch with people. Any more? I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'm good at kicking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm confident. I'd like to think so. Yeah, I think you are. I'm self-assured. I think a lot of people, especially women, are very insecure. And don't get me wrong, like I definitely have my insecurities. I definitely don't let my insecurities dictate my actions, which I think a lot of people, especially women, do in relationships more specifically. Mm. Who is your all-time celebrity crush? <laughs> Maybe it's a current celebrity crush. Oh, I don't really care about celebrities. Oh. Um, well, then maybe you maybe don't know. not all time, but ASAP Rocky. I've always just loved ASAP oh, Rocky. Oh, nice. Think it's Pretty flacco. What? Pretty flacco. <laughs> Pretty flacco. Flacco. That's what he calls himself. Oh, well, uh, you're speaking Australian, no, man. No, mate, no. Nah. Pretty flacco. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best book you've ever read? You gotta read. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't really read, to be honest. Um, Doesn't mean if you don't read now, maybe it could be in children's books. I think 1984. I know that's cliche as hell, no, no but way. that was a beautiful piece of writing yeah. when I read that. I was like... Respect. Uh, it's a great novel. Mm -hmm. What is your favourite movie? I really like the movie Call Me By Your Name. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. And also it just reminds me of like, my grand in the south of France. So like growing up in the south, of I know it's set in Italy, Northern Italy, but I don't know. Just the setting was very, very, like almost identical to where I grew up every summer um, mm. in south of France. So it kind of like touched home in that way. Oh, I've got so many. More of a like mindfuck film, because I love mindfuck films. Mm. Um, Shutter Island's good. Oh yeah, great one. So yeah. Great plot, plot twist. Mm. Next question. Oh, I like Gone Girl, Girl in the Train. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it said favourite film. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, yeah. I won't say anymore. <laughs> what is the weirdest thing you've ever done for money? Oh, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> I sold feet pictures. Oh, okay. That is weird. <laughs> And there's one more question. Mm. What is the sexiest things you find in a man? I like strong eyebrows. I like a beard. I like muscle, some muscle, not huge, but like something there. Nice six pack on them. <laughs> You're touching yourself. Like, I'm talking about you now. Yeah. I usually like dark eyes or hazel eyes, dark hair. Yeah. Alright, and that is all we have for today's questionnaire. Well, I hope that you have learned more about me. Thanks yes. for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!